guys, it's Jane Dunn from Kiss My Glass Antiques and Luke. And right now we're in Houston at the City Limits Flea Market, which we found a couple good things here and a couple things that we just wanted that weren't necessarily glass. But let's go inside and see if we can find any vintage or antique glass for our collection or for mom and dad's collection or for resale. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so we're going to start right here with this pretty cobalt blue and white, you can see the optic, um, and poly brandy snifter and this one is only $20 so we're considering it picking it up. It's got the ripple around the edge. Here's the inside, it's cased glass, so that's why the white is inside. The bottom is actually see-through, so. Oh, it's kind of heavy. It's pretty big. Here's my hand next to it. And then this booth also has some moon and stars compotes. Or not compotes. What's these called? Goblets. How much are they? Oh good, the tags are upside down. $10 each. Ooh. And down here is a Fenton cranberry glass vase. Ruffle, ruffle vase. I think there is, yeah, right here. Okay, and right here there is another Moon and Stars compote. This one's Amber. And I gotta talk a lot because they're playing music, but this one is $16.50, so not too bad for that one. Okay, I'm gonna talk really loud because they're playing music, but here we got some Merry Mushroom pans, I think. And they're, this one's, I think they're $20 each, so here they are. Ah! And right here is a little brass pony. It's $13, but I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> we just found this white Fenton milk glass hobnail swung vase. These are the ones that are like worth like, yeah, about $15, which is how much this one's priced at. And I think $15 is kind of high for them, so <laughs> you find these everywhere. They're a dime a dozen. Okay, guys, trying to talk over the music still, but these are three, set of three Ellie Smith Amber Scroll canisters. And it's only $15 for the set of three, which is pretty good, but one of them is missing the lid, so we are going to go ahead and leave them behind, but that's okay. Um, I haven't seen Amber ones in a really long time, but... Thank you guys, right here we got a Moon and Stars, at least with Moon and Stars Banana Boat. This one I think is right, a right Moon and Stars compote, only $6, and another Ellie Smith Moon and Stars compote. This one is $13.50, this one is $23.50, so yeah, just so you know the pricing, those are really good prices for those honestly, um, but I do think the Moon and Stars might be going a little out right now, so... And here's that booth with all that moon and stars that's way overpriced so it never sells and it's still all right here. And all this other stuff too that's way overpriced and is never sold but yeah it's right here still. And over here is this Empoli Brandy Snifter with the optic. This is like an olive green color. It's kind of coming off more amber but it's like more of an olive green. And it is only $17.50. Not too bad. It's a little bit small smaller than that, way smaller than that other one was, but that's okay. Probably leave this one behind. Look really likes it. It's cute. How much is it? $12.50. $12.50. Come on guys, look at these really old TV trays. They're like 10. Oh, they have little wheels on them. Our old ones didn't have that. That's so cool, and they're all four there. Okay guys, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and pick this up for mom and dad. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Guys, so that was City Limits Flea Market in Houston, Missouri. We're gonna go down the road to the other like actual antique mall that they have here but unfortunately I had to talk really fast and really loud because we didn't want to get a copyright strike from the music so I will apologize for that but we did grab that brandy snifter and we actually got a magnet for Luke's sister let me show you since she doesn't watch these videos 
says, so many village idiots, so few dragons, because she loves dragons, so we went ahead and picked it up for her, so. Yeah, we'll see you at the other antique mall in just a minute. Okay guys, so now we're at the Millstone Market in Houston, which is the actual antique mall in Houston. So let's go inside and see if we can find anything else. Just look what we found. We found an Ellie Smith diamond butt for 165 and it's red or amberina. I think it's red though. We'll say amberina. But yeah. Oh my gosh, as soon as we walked in. I asked Luke which way we should go, and he said left, so. Good choice. Good choice, good choice. Wow. Here's the camera. How tall do you think it is? 20? Mm, 21, 22. Ooh, yeah. Okay, guys, right here we have some more Ellie Smith. We have some Ellie Smith. Bookends. They're just horses. They're $44 for the pair. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's a good price or not. I feel like it might be a smidge high, but they're really pretty and they're in really good condition. Up here we have some blend out pictures a green one and a yellow one, and they are 20 bucks each. And then down here we actually have some Viking. These are, well it says anchor hawking so maybe it is, but this is the Georgian pattern. Both Viking and anchor hawking make these. Let's see. I think it's $14 for the set. That's what that says. And these are in like the evergreen color, so that's a pretty good color. And then this of course is always the best booth. It's super pretty. Let me get a picture of it. Okay. They always have really good stuff. This over here. I'll start here. This is a Fenton Valencia compote. Says it's $25. Down here we have this Ellie Smith six pedal compote. I think it was here the last time we were here. It was $23. This is um, in the Amberina. This is Viking. But you can tell that it is not Viking because of the scalloped bottom. It is Ellie Smith. An Ellie Smith six pedal. A lot of people don't know that Ellie Smith made six pedals too. Lots and lots of Fenton. Like almost everything you're seeing is Fenton. Up here is a ice blue brandy snifter with the optic that is in poly. Then over here some more I Fenton. I think, that's, I think that's in poly too. They have it list this vase listed as pilgrim, but Luke thinks it might be in Poli, and I happen to agree. I want to see this lady. Oh, she's Royal Dalton. Let's see how much they have on her. Oh, sad. They have forty dollars on her, but she's really pretty. And these petals on these flowers are super delicate. Let me get closer. See, they're so thin. It's crazy that they're still in such good condition. We got some Royal Dalton here once. It was really good and really cheap. Oh look, Moon and Stars ashtrays. Those are so cute. They're shiny. Let's see what Lisa's, Luke is looking at. Signed picture. So is this okay. Mike, Mike Fenton. Mike Fenton. Cool. Fenton signed glass picture. I've never seen one in that color. What's it, what's it called? Rosaline? Rosaline. Rosaline glass. Pretty. Guys, I don't know anything about this, but it's like such a tiny juicer. I think it's depression glass. It's pink. It's coming off brown on the camera, but it's pink. Uh, it's fifteen dollars. Oh, so cute. Very tiny. You're not getting very much juice in that guy. Guys, look another one. That's the third one we've seen today. Okay guys, so what's cool is this little man here is actually Royal Dalton. He's called the balloon man. He's kinda scary. But he is 
37 dollars so we're gonna leave him here but that's not a bad price and then actually this little lady back here is royal dalton as well but she's 40 dollars, so we're gonna leave her but luke's mom has one very similar to this it's the same lady in the same dress wow that's really loud but a different pose so we are gonna leave her here but that would be another one they get for luke's mom another one that's the fourth one today you always gotta look at the stuff that's got the ugly flowers in it because the stuff with the ugly flowers in it always turns out to be stuff that shouldn't have ugly flowers in it because it's not ugly this is a really pretty piece of empoli it's an empoli compote i'll put the flowers back in don't worry and it's only twelve dollars it's beautiful and it has this really cool shape to it and the amber with the striped optic so we're gonna leave it behind but I did want to show you that you should always pay attention to the stuff with the fake flowers and here's proof that I did in fact put back in the flowers guys look at this cool poster it's hummingbirds of the United States and Canada I don't even know Canada had hummingbirds, I guess. I figure everywhere has hummingbirds at this point. I don't know though. I'm not a hummingbird expert. I thought that was cool. I thought Jansen might want to see it because he likes hummingbirds. Guys, so we got this vase and we ended up getting this really cute fish picture frame that we're going to put a picture of us deep sea fishing in because on our honeymoon we're going deep sea fishing. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys!